And that's happened to me twice or thrice already now. Alright. So we're here to check out Dante's story. I'm hoping it's as good as it could be. Like, it's not gonna... Well, good as it could be from the last one. And I'm hoping it's better than the last one. We need a little more detail. Investigate. So where are we? Oh, they're doing the whole teaching thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot. You gotta wait for this. I have not been waiting for that at all. So anyway. I was actually doing that earlier. Funny enough. Oh, not this bit. <laughs> I mean, not this character again. Definitely wasn't going to say anything. Huh? Uh, what, are they saying they, they reworked him again or something? You know, for a support character, this event, I wouldn't even put a, a fair judgment. Because, I, I think this support, you know, character, this is made for him, you know, this Dante support. So the enemies are not going to be as tanky or showing him all as, you know, much difficult. So I'm not going to really judge this man again. Because last time I was very upset. And now I just spam X whenever this thing starts. Because I don't like waiting for that long behind wait period. So I don't know if anyone's learned how to do that yet. Or if anybody's doing that over like waiting. And it also employs like a super armor thing when you do that. So I... I don't know if that was intended. But that's what I've been doing. Oops, sorry. I probably just hit it. Well, um... I guess I'll have to dig deeper into the... Uh, I did not get to read all that. Dante, can you just speak a little slower? Or have a voice actor to speak this out, so I wanted to sit here and try to read it. If you're gonna do that to me and give me no time at all, well, I mean, I guess then everybody will be like, well, you know. Everyone that can actually read quicker than me will probably be like, shut up, it's good speed. And I'll be like, no, it's not, I can't read it. Well, that's your problem. Just read it through your video like you should. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm still sad about this character. This character could have been a real damage dealer. Uh, that's sad. Alright. So, Dante. Yeah, what now, huh? Can't stop me if I'm in super armor state. Ow! Um, not what I was expecting. I wonder. Honestly, this Dante, he does decent damage as support, but he's still nowhere near what we want for a damage unit, right? Like, that's, I mean, that's obvious. But honestly, he does really good for a support damage dealer. Especially with that overtime damage move, that move is kind of the very crust of what you want to use them for. You gotta try to get that move out as much as you can so it can buff all your allies. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with this. Us is walking through here. Also, can I just... I was gonna say something, but you know, I guess y'all wanna say something more than me and go ahead and do it. It's not that I have my own opinion or anything, just bombarded by you demons! I'm trying to use Dante only, but right now it's showing that, uh, that's not going to work out here, champ. 
Yeah. Alright. See, that is the one thing I can say. At least he's good for something. <laughs> we're just shield breaking. Alright, well, anyway. Enough of that. I'm done put projecting my emotions. Now, let's go ahead and... I wish they gave us Nero. This would have been a lot quicker and actually easier with Nero. But yeah, unfortunately this... Uh, well, then again, I guess you don't want to... No, they're outshining this Dante by using the Dante with his weapons. I don't... There's nothing to justify this. I guess, oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure that the reason they released this Dante, I just thought about it. Which I'm pretty sure everyone's already figured that out, but it's to literally help the uh, Dante that they failed to advertise as damage dealing. Oh, damn. Alright, that ultimate did work. You know, did you get his weapon and then get... Like, get up to probably like two? I don't remember what number I said, but whatever it was at. You know, wherever it needs to be. Hey, you alright, kid? Wait, D Dante? Yeah. You know who I am? Didn't realize I was a hit with the youngsters. Why does your outfit look so old? This is my classic. It's my class. This, this is classic. Oh, well then. I bred. Beard. All right, listen. And are these wrinkles on your face? Wow, you're really tearing him apart. Jesus Christ. Are you sure you're a blast at parties? The <laughs> gear was silent. Went silent, I think. I'm already aware of that. And now you have no good... <laughs> there are no good... All right, you know, I just want to say... I... <laughs> She said, man, you're so old. You got wrinkles on your face. Man, what's wrong with your coat? It's so old. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I don't think I've ever heard Dante ever been called any of those things. And that's thinking about him hearing that. It, it could be just so funny. <laughs> he said I was, am I the hit with the youngster? Yikes. Better go to a dentist. Ow! Mm. Yeah! Spams! Oh. Damn it! Yeah. You will stay there and take it. I hope. Alright, I need somebody to... Alright, listen, I boost you right now. So I would like it if you can actually do some damage and kill this thing. Ah. What? Hey! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way that he's doing it, isn't he? You douche! Your combat prowess is still shocking and imp shockingly impressive, Dante. Go on, no need to hesitate. Teach me. What? The broken gear has shown me my power, but I'm having trouble. I think only someone of your experience can help me control it. Well. Hey, did I mention I make a killer pizza? Could you do better? Sun, I mean, Sunday strawberry? Very entertain free. Alright, hope you're ready because I'm going to go to be easy. I'm not going to be easy. What? So she's going to be getting trained from 
DMC5 Dante? Which he's like in his 40s by now, I think, right? So, that right there is what we call a, cr a, cr a, a clutch. And there we go, that's it. I beat that part of the story. Now I gotta do part two, and sadly I'm not gonna get to the rest of it, because, well, I'll get to the rest that I can, but unfortunately, I'm trying to hurry this up because I don't want any audio picked up from anything else other than me talking. I'm trying to keep that still under control. I unfortunately can't figure out how to make my audio any better without taking this thing off. Like the restriction, and I guess I could have just put my mic back on, but my mic is stronger than I think this one, and it will pick up anything around the house, and I don't want that. So yeah, I'm trying to, I really am trying to fix the audio. It's unfortunately been bad luck so far. I should have probably done this earlier because there was not really much going on around earlier. But unfortunately, you know, I... I was still waking up, still had to get food and that, and I also had to do my dailies on all the games. So yeah, it, it's uh, unfortunately it didn't work out for me. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to do it more early in the earlier than I can, like when there's nobody around or anything like that, or when it's like quiet. That's when I'll do it. Because that would be the best time for me to record. And then I won't have to worry about any more audio problems. Because honestly, I think that's what I'm learning from this. <laughs> it's that I need to accept the fact I can't, like, block out audios. Especially with my fan. My fan was probably the biggest problem by far. And I needed that to stop the echo. And now it's I'm back to Echo City. You know how they say that Ecuador is on um, the Star Wars? Actually, Ecuador is inside my area right now. I actually made Ecuador by accident. You know, I didn't think it'd be possible, but you know, here I am with Ecuador. It's not really fun. You would think that the little teddy bears make you feel happy or whatever. <laughs> I call them teddy bears. The, what what are they called? Ewoks. E you would think the little Ewoks will make you feel better, but. Yeah, they, they actually just dump on you about your terrible audio quality. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Anyway, besides that, you know, it's pretty fine. Oh, okay. So her ability seems to be something about sensing. I have not read a single thing, by the way. I read only that little part. And that's it. Literally, that is it. I was too busy talking about my terrible audio situation. But anyway, I digress. So, um, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping this story is going to tell us a little more about her. Obviously, it is, but not. I'm not sure how good it is or if it's even like worth like saying, "Oh my God, they're actually giving us something." But it seems like she has like some kind of special power to sense demons and demonic power. Which is a very important key detail there, because that might be where she's going to become very useful in her own way. And uh, she might even have a power to fight demons with it, too. So, I'm hoping that it's, it's going to be explained. I want to see a cutscene of what her powers look like, but we'll see what they'll give us, and hopefully it will be, you know relatively gr great to you know figure out where where she fits in all of this because clearly she's important mm. man I, I i really gotta get near i i gotta really get him like the more and more i sit here and play with other kids i'm like damn man if i would have just got nero this all would be no problem i would have I would have someone for damage. And I know that Nero probably would be even crazier with his weapon, but I don't really know if I can afford it. I mean, I've gotten some gems up, but I'm not sure if it's enough to, like, you know, make a game-changing statement. And hopefully it's not going to be 
like too important because I kind of want to just throw them into a team with a hell weapon and enjoy them. That's it. But I might need to get at least one of him. I mean his weapons for that matter. I need to get more than one of him obviously. Because I think a lot of his abilities might... Oh, at least all the way into SS or SS Plus. I forget where. I'll figure it out. But hopefully it will work out in my favor. I'm not really sure. But other than that, I haven't really done anything else. I've been working on Padme. And let me tell you. I hate when I run out of energy. Let me tell you. Padme is by far the most difficult I've ever had to deal with. I should have took two energy there. Anyway. So. No, was it Padme? Yeah, it's Padme. Yeah. So, anyway. She's kind of a problem with that, you know, re reviving, like, Jedi guy. But I think if we take her out, we might be able to beat it. I'm going to try it. But I still want to finish upgrading my Geonosians. Because Geonosians are the, um, they're going to need to be a little bit stronger than what they are for that last stage. I already know it. Because they can't even tank it. They're going to die. I'm going to lose them. They'll become weaker and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's obvious what's going to happen. I'm going to lose. And then, at the end of the day, I'm not going to have Padme fully done. And once we get Pat Mae, you know, that would be awesome. We get to have a very amazing support. Like, she removes debuff, she re she fully restores, I, not fully, probably, but she restores protection. Like, and, and I think a lot of it, in my opinion, I don't think it was like a little bit. Because if it was, that's a hell of a little bit that she's been restoring when I've been fighting these guys. Oh, God. What have I done? No. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I hate these things not letting me be able to move the way I want. No! No one loves you, you bouncy dumb thing. I should just be landing on the side, shouldn't I be? Oh my god. I didn't make it. No! No! This is hell. I don't need Statima. I need to get at the top. You know, I'll just take some Statima. Just to shut my game up. And also just to get past here. I don't like how long this Dante's taking a move. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, let me fix this. It's my... I didn't... I thought I'd change the size of it so I wouldn't... Ah! No. This is not happening right now. I cannot be sitting here. Oh my god, thank god it's over. I never wanted to leave a room full of freaking jumpy things. I don't even remember what they're called. Ugh. So everyone, I'm sorry that uh, you're going to have to get a record over me here. Apparently, I didn't read any of this. And I just stood there not reading it for a while. I think it's because my audio kind of was acting up. I don't know. Anyway, whatever happened in the case, uh, yeah. So these two are definitely talking about somebody. I honestly don't remember what's in this part, but I'm hoping y'all enjoying the video. And um, I hope the audio settings I've been messing with is helping the video sound better every day. All right, well, I'm done. Oh, I okay. I thought he was gonna leave it to her. Imagine if we swapped from Peerless Legend to her. That would have been the most craziest thing I've ever seen. I was thinking for a sec, or at least we would get a cutscene of her fighting. Now, I'm hoping that. All right, that's unfortunate. Man, I really hate these freaking arrow guys. They every time I fight with them in behind me, I've been dealing with them with all day, and they get it so annoying. After a while, you just really, really start to hate these guys. Oh, 
My god, I hate them. Alright, now where am I going? Oh, wow, they're gonna make me do a whole loop around? Alright, well, I already know what this means. Okay, so we go this way. We go this way. Demons. I knew it. I called it. I called it. Stop with your... Mm. There. Yeah, how you like it, huh? You like getting hit and having... Oh, well, actually, then again, I don't have super... Ow! Welcome to hell. <laughs> Alright, imagine. Oh my god, I love that ultimate. That's so much better. <laughs> that was amazing. It just took care of everybody for me. I didn't have to run all over the place. Kind of defeats the purpose, but you know, I like... To see an easy way through this without me spending a lot of time on dodging. So yeah, this Dante is uh he's looking pretty good, you know, for support. And I'm I don't need I gotta really test out like if I do that ultimate and then it you know what you call it. When I do it, does it like continue onward if I do an ultimate and then switch units? Oh man, that's not big enough room to find that out. We need to figure out about that, because that's actually very important. Um, oh my god! That's so awesome. That ultimate is hitting so hard with the lightning. Break everything out of the way, like just reduce their their protection to zero. And once you unleash that ultimate, it will hurt them. Emotionally and physically. Their emotions as a demon will be disrespected. You know, honestly emotionally though like emotional level damage they're getting that all you got ah ultimate Man, those buffs really are helping him. A friend... What? Should be back anytime. Who is the friend you're talking about? He's more like... Insane? Would it be weird if I... Would be more eager to meet him? Huh. I am so confused. What? Who is he referring to? His friend might be V or it could be very well Virgil. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, two days. I was way off. It's released on the fifth day. That's so bull. Uh. Probably V they talking about. Now. You're probably wondering what I did this all for. This is what I did it for. I am desperately trying to get 6,000. Unfortunately, I did not get nothing but 4 tokens. So I don't think I'm going to be getting that today. So I'm just going to have to set the fact that I'm not getting the skin. But... At least it isn't a weapon skin that I really wanted. That would have hurt even more. A little outfit skin isn't really that big of a deal for me. Weapon skin, that's another story. Because I want to get one of the older ones. And honestly, I'm sad that I didn't. Alright. Well, I'll see you uh, in the uh, rest of this video. And I'll try to do it in a more quiet environment. And hopefully with no audio problems. 
And I'm hoping this came out with no audio problems. And if it did, I'm going to cry because I'm sad. And that's it. I'm just sad. I, there's no other way to say it. I'm sad because I spent so much time with this audio problem. Anyway, see ya. Now, let's go ahead and get this started. I probably... Hmm... You know, I didn't really check to see how the audio is for the game. Not like there's any voice talking during this. This island is a V. I'm down to him by Mr. V. He will be fine. Besides, he's not. He is my problem. Yes, everything goes in my problem. My problem is. I don't know what he said there. All right, so we're back here. You know, honestly, at some point, you just want to see something new. And I kind of want to see, you know, this area need to be, like, changed. Well, not like this area needs to be the same as the uh, map choice. But I feel like, you know, all these areas, they keep lining up to the same stuff. But why? You know, it's not really... Not really much, and I mean, I like a story as much as anybody else, but at some point, we need some new areas. My god, we're just killing them without even... Um, maybe we should just sit here and let the damage do it work, huh? Yeah. That, that it, what, oh, what? <laughs> so we don't even get to hop on the chain. They just skip us over it. Damn. Alright, so here we are. Back at where um, Count Thunder was. Which, honestly, makes me wonder, what's going on with this? Like, is Count Thunder the one that... Like, I know Count Thunder is just straight up just Virgil, but in another stand, like, at least I would think, right? They didn't really explain that it's alternate timeline Virgil with another alternate timeline Virgil. You know, there's not two alternate timeline Virgil, like Legendary Roman and Count Thunder. At least doesn't seem like it. I'm not really sure. But the one that... <clears throat> The one that they advertised, Legendary Roman, you didn't get a story, so I mean it could technically be the same Virgil, but I'm not entirely sure either. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Uh, I sense... I sense some problems here. So, anyway, now that we're back from that quick break, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Although, then again, if there was messages playing, you would already know what I was doing earlier. So, uh, yeah. I'm just hoping that, you know, all this stuff is going to eventually come to the end with this area. We'll get some new areas. Oh, God! <clears throat> Sorry. That wasn't like me. I, I freaked out because I saw I was near death. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright, you know, this just got a lot rougher. I should have been swapping out. My, my bad. I just wanted to use... And here I said I was going to try to use the other guy. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh yeah, and then we can finally talk about something that I've been having on my mind for the last week now. <clears throat> Why the heck did they release a one month anniversary? I mean, not a one month, but like a six month anniversary. I mean, that's kind of... 
Like, I know it's probably bringing more players, but let's be honest here. Whatever is in this anniversary, the events aren't going to be enough. You're going to have to give everybody what they wanted from the start. It's going to have to be, whether they like it or not, the Dante with his pistols and his sword. Like, let's be honest here. That's all we ever wanted for Dante. And, not only that, we should probably... The main thing that I'm worried about is, if they do... Are, is they going to just do another Dante, but this time he has his guns? Or are they going to finally give every Dante, like, another level where they can get their guns and Virgil could get something else? Like, honestly. I want to know. Honest to God. Because the... Pistols were like Dante's signature weapon. You can't take that away. Because then it just isn't right. I mean, he does use the pistols a lot. And in every game, his pistols has always been accessible. So it's like, the only thing they're probably going to do is make a Dante with pistols. But if it's only pistols, no one's going to be wanting that. They're just going to be thinking that, well, they ain't going to like it. That's just it. They're not going to like that Dante. And honestly, they shouldn't even have the pistols on his back throughout any of those characters if you don't have the pistols equipped. They should have a way to put the pistols back into every Dante that has those. As for the ones that don't have it, obviously we don't want to see him with the pistols. You know? Because, you know... Well, I mean, you would, but, you know, it's not like we're going to see it, so it's not as obvious. But if it's, like, right there in front of your face, you start to get a little bit insulted by um, Nebula Joy's uh, choice here to not give him guns. Especially since guns is, like, his secondary weapon. He may be primary on the sword, but he uses his gun still a lot. So... If they're doing the six month anniversary or whatever the heck they called it, I'm hoping that it is going to be fixing the Dantes that don't have pistols. And not a stupid Dante that only is pistols. Because I swear, if that's what they're doing, you might as well just pack up. You ain't, you ain't good at DMs. I'm sorry, but I had to say, you're not good at your job. We've already demanded what we wanted for the longest, a damage-dealing Dante. And this is their chance to get that damage-dealing Dante in. This right here, their little excuse of an anniversary, this six-month anniversary thing they're calling it. At least that's what I read off of it. They better be releasing a new Dante with actual damage like a physical Dante like they should have released from the start with his pistols with Stinger with his um rebellion combo if not you might as well just say we don't care about the fan base we don't care about the game just go ahead and drop money I guess into it and we'll just let it die or whatever that's literally all I'm saying and then there's no voice acting, so you know they don't really... They're not... It's not like they have a bunch of money to spend either. Because they ain't got no voice acting in a lot of these stories. Even though they're making money, they're not actually putting a lot of it into work the right way. I feel like they're just throwing the money to the side and just simply leaving... Like, just taking what they can out of this game. Trying to put out an anniversary to get more money... So they can have more money from this game when they... And they just expect that they're screwing us over. That we're just going to be idiotic enough to pay for something so pathetic and unexcusable. Like, if Nebula Joy really cared about making this game any better, they would fix their mistake from the start. There is no buts, no ifs, no ands. No balance bullshit that you need to bring out. It's not like we're asking you to give Dante a gun style. Just give him his basic stuff. That's all you gotta do. But instead, they're just giving us the excuse that every Dante they've given us is just fine. It's not. And that's why, honestly, 
Like, this Dante is good. Don't get me wrong. Honestly, he clears a room pretty nicely. And on top of that, his fire damage is still good. He's a good support. He's not main damage, obviously, because they already felt that one, so they're not taking another swing at it. Because they already had a support build Dante up. And they knew from the minute they did this, they were going to have that problem. And I know a part of them had it new when they released that Dante with the dual blades that he was supposed to be damaged from the start. Giving that man two blades and no damage is like saying, honestly, he should have been this Dante's description, damage and buffing. But with actual damage and buffing traits. But anyway, that's my opinion. Anyway. So, regardless of the fact, a demon cough playing as a guardian, how, how cute, I think he said? I don't really know. But anyway, Wow. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What's this move again? Oh, no, not this. Okay. We just gotta break him once. And there you go. That damn thing again. What is that? For real, what is that thing? They can't keep teasing that thing. At some point, it's going to get old. We're going to be like, oh, well, there goes that weird thing again. Like, what does that thing do? What is that important to? They gave us no dialogue or subtext. Like, what is that thing supposed to signify? The end of this journey together? Like, they just get warped into different times? What does that do? I don't know. Anyway, we completed the whole story. I was disappointed, which is sad, but you know, it's whatever. It's not like I expected them to pull out everything into this character and make him actually have a good story in that. I'm just already expecting to be disappointed, to be honest. And I'm assuming if they release another Dante, it's going to be another disappointment. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope this anniversary is not going to be just a pathetic excuse to grab money and have nothing good about it. Because if you're just making a character completely stupid and not usable, or like just making it straight up guns only after all of the time we spent. Like if the whole idea of us was to just say, man, we wanted to play a Dante with only guns. Then we would have said that. We didn't want that. We want him to have his damn gun. And his rebellion. Or his sword, really. So, could you just please release the unit that we've asked you for, like... I don't know. Forever. And actually make him damage before I forget. Because I know that you're going to forget. You're going to be like, oh, in this dot, they can be support. No. This Dante can be a tank. No. Sword. Guns. Damage. Please. That's all I have to say. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. It might not come out today. It might come out tomorrow. I'm not sure when. And today is the day that I should upload for Tuesday. But if not, you know what happened. I got caught up. I had a lot of things to do today. It wasn't really easy. Anyway, bye.